Well, howdy, partners. This week, our travels take us here to the Goldfield Ghost Town, just outside of Apache Junction, Arizona. This was a working mining village in the late 1800s. In fact, they say there's still gold to be found on the hills just outside of town. Let's explore Goldfield. This is the Old West, no doubt about it. Ghost towns, dusty trails, sagebrush, cowboys, and these days, RVs, a whole bunch of them. This area of towering spires and canyons just to the east of Phoenix, Arizona, was formed by volcanic upheaval some 30 million years ago. Superstition Mountain dominates the horizon, rising some 5,000 feet above the desert floor. The name comes from an Indian story about a god who brought floodwaters to the area. According to the legend, Thunder God spared all those who were thinking of others and not just of themselves. But the rest of you that are up here only thinking about yourselves, nobody else, you've all got to stay up here. And all those little bitty pinnacles and needles of rock on the skyline, those are those Indians that turned to stone. When the early ranchers came in here to farm the valley in the mid-1860s, they named it Superstition Mountain because of the way the Native Americans treated the mountain. Apache Trail Tours takes visitors on Jeep adventures in the high desert for great views of the rugged landscape filled with desert wildlife and vegetation, including the famous Arizona cactus, or saguaro. So this one behind us right here, uh, how old do you think this one is? I'd say that one is uh, about 100, 110 years old. No kidding. Somewhere up in that area. So that was here before we were. Oh, yes, indeed. Even me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and these arms, again, nothing decides where those arms are going to come no. out and how many they're going to have. Nope. You can kind of see they're kind of bunched together on the right, a little bitty one coming out of that one on the front of the plant there. And uh, no, nothing hmm. determines it. Sure and here's one you want to watch out for, the jumping choya. It's got little harpoon-like barbs on the end of the needle. Now watch mm -hmm. my skin. See how it pulls that? Ouch, look at that. And, uh, the Indians whoa. used it as a weapon and also for food. Choya. Pat showed us how to burn and, off the uh, hollow needles and slice open the plant. Mild taste. And just open that up. Just open it up. Layer open. You can kind of see the inside is that... Uh, lighter green, very moist. Almost like an avocado in there. Yeah. Here we go, down the hatch. Hmm, it's kind of citrusy. Yep. It's the great weather and those wide open spaces that draw visitors here from all over the U.S. It's just different than anywhere else in the world mm -hmm. and you can only see this kind of vegetation and the mountains and just the open spaces. You don't see that where I'm from. And the gold rush brought thousands here in the 1880s. You can get a feel for what it might have been like walking the streets of Goldfield, a reconstructed gold mining town just outside of Apache Junction. We restored some of the buildings, some of them we rebuilt from pictures and stuff that we had. Uh, it's, it's a neat place to come and visit, a lot of history, a lot of fun. We try and keep the history being taught in a fun way. And it's fun to roam the town, visit the old mine, the various gift shops and restaurants, and even venture upstairs to the bordello. They say it's an island of comfort and softness in a harsh and coarse land. Well, let's find out. The Goldfield Street performers helped to add a certain authenticity to the town. We also managed to run into a few viewers of RV Today while in Goldfield. And so you have occasion to watch RV Today, right? Frequently. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, so you guys are going to be on the show. Well, that'd be great. <laughs> we'll have to tell all the folks back uh, back home that uh, they need to watch this program now. Yeah, well, especially when, when they're in the snow and you're out here in the beautiful Arizona sunshine. That's right. Right. You can also take a ride on the only narrow gauge railroad in Arizona that circles the town and provides a great view of nearby Superstition Mountain. Just five miles outside of town is the OK Corral and RV Park a five-year-old facility with stables that caters to RVers who also own horses. There's no facility like this around to house people that are hauling their horses, so we kind of put in some boarding pens and uh, turned uh, this area into a campground where they have full hookups 
They can come, they can board their horses, take care of their horses, ride from here. They have uh, all the conveniences they need as horse people. The park has definitely met a need and established a loyal clientele over the years. We like to ride and uh, so we got a horse trailer that's got an RV in the front so we can do our RVing and uh, uh, horsing around all at the same time. So here's Teal and Roy Workman's rig. If you've never seen a combination RV and horse trailer, take a good look. Uh, I'm guessing Teal and Roy have the slide out and the horses then would be in the back. Ray Wayne is a cowboy RVer who has taken his passion of saddle making and repair on the road in the back of his rig. He visits the OK Corral every January and stays through March. And I just took a hundred dollar a month hobby, so that's what I was average, just making enough money to buy leather and build something and then sell it again mm -hmm. and do it over and turn it into a job. And I've been doing it now for 15 years. The OK Corral is next door to the RV park and offers a variety of horseback adventures into the nearby high desert. We love to do this uh, as a family. We kind of always look for the ranches and do some horseback riding. It's just kind of a nice family activity. The annual Lost Dutchman Days draws thousands to Apache Junction every year to enjoy a weekend filled with festivities including a parade, music and arts and crafts. The big event, of course, is the rodeo that includes a calf chase for the kids and bronco riding for the big guys. After a tough ride like that, it might just be time for a nice massage. Ovation Spa and Salon in Apache Junction offers a variety of treatments that road-weary RVers might just enjoy. And what we would do is um, take them in for a relaxing massage, then probably give them a manicure, pedicure, a facial, and uh, we can give complimentary uh, lunches um, while they're here. Another way to relax is a sunset dinner cruise on the Dolly Steamboat on beautiful Canyon Lake located just 20 miles east on Apache Trail. The two-hour cruise takes you on the secluded inner waterways of what they call the Junior Grand Canyon, the golden-colored cliffs rising some 900 feet above the crystal-clear 10-mile-long lake. Passengers are encouraged to bring binoculars to spot the wildlife that make occasional appearances on the shore and in the mountains. What we spotted was uh, some ewes, which are female desert bighorns, and uh, also some yearlings, uh, very young sheep. We get people of uh, all, all variety of ages. We get young and old, and uh, we get a lot of seniors this time of year, of course. And We also offer dinner cruises. Uh, usually in the spring and fall is the ideal time to come out. The sunset dinner is served on the upper deck where you can watch the sun slowly slip over the surrounding canyon walls. It's a perfect way to end a full day of adventure in the Old West. Coming up, we're introduced to the Skid Monster at the Palm Springs Safety Rally. That's up next.